everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am reviewing the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Serum. Before we begin with today's video, I'd love to welcome everyone who has recently subscribed to my channel. Welcome. My name is Nadia and I'm a licensed esthetician who loves to test and review skincare products. Feel free to add me on all of my other social media platforms. I will link those down below for you. Also, if you have yet to subscribe to the channel, be sure to subscribe and make sure that you hit that notification bell so that you are notified whenever there is a brand new upload. This is a clear liquid gel serum that has a 75% complex of hyaluronic acid, which helps to draw moisture from the atmosphere to hydrate the skin. You may find this serum at sephora.com and at peterthomasroth.com. She does retail for $65 and you do receive one Ounce. You can find a three-piece kit. It's called the Full Size Hydration Haul. It's a three-piece kit where you get three full-size products, a serum, an eye cream, and a moisturizer, all for the price of this serum, $65. The kit was once available online during the holiday season. However, you may find it at Sephora stores. If you are interested, I would have a look at the app, see if it's available at your local Sephora, and try to do a curbside pickup. It's a pretty unbelievable deal. Within this formula, we do see a number of really good antioxidants, skin replenishing, and hydrating ingredients. We see a 75% hyaluronic acid complex that helps to improve hydration. We also see silk proteins that help the skin to feel smooth and soft. And we also see sodium PCA that hydrates the skin. What I love the most about the Peter Thomas Roth water drench range is that it is alcohol and fragrance free. I have used a number of hydrating serums before and I really, really enjoy this one because it's oil free and I can see myself using this product year round. It's also got a matte finish uh, that I think will work on normal skin even during warm summer months. I feel like that can also work on oily skin who still needs uh, perhaps some hydration, maybe some calming anti-inflammatory properties that hyaluronic tends to deliver. Definitely a a matte finish. I know during the demo my skin can definitely look a little bit luminous and that has a lot to do with the acids and the retinol products that I do use at night. So even when you do apply a matte finish product, the skin can tend to look a little bit luminous there. I began testing this particular product on October 27th. My initial takeaways were that this was a non-sticky product product that sinks into the skin almost immediately. If you apply this serum to the face alone, all you need is one pump. However, if you do apply it to the neck and decollete area, you will need two full pumps. On November 3rd, uh, my skin was feeling particularly dry, so I used two full pumps of this product overnight. I found relief almost instantly. I did not, however, use an oil that night and my skin felt great the following morning. After a few applications, I began following my retinol-based serum with this serum to minimize any dryness, any flakiness, or irritation, and that pairing worked beautifully. On December 18th and 19th, I paired this serum with my niacinamide-based serum to help minimize the size of pores, transepidermal water loss, hydrate, minimize inflammation from hormonal sugar related uh, breakouts, and also to strengthen my skin's barrier since temperatures began to drop uh, into the 50s and 60s uh, throughout that 
part of the month. Uh, the following morning, any redness and inflammation related to the hormonal breakouts here along the jawline was reduced. Uh, my skin looked radiant and it felt smooth. On the 19th, I made sure to pair this with my Summer Fridays CC Me Serum and it worked beautifully. There was no pilling and the combination worked beautifully under makeup as well. And finally, on the 3rd of January, I used this to treat runny redness and inflammation and the following morning, my skin woke up smoother, plumper, hydrated, and more balanced. This year, Serum has worked very nicely under and over different serums, moisturizers, overnight masks. This paired very nicely over CC Me Serum and under number of different SPFs as well as nighttime use. It worked beautifully under a number of moisturizers as well. Um, my favorite way to use this is definitely during my nighttime skincare routine after I use my retinol based serum to minimize any potential redness, irritation, or flakiness, and to also hydrate and plump the skin overnight. I would recommend the Peter Thomas Roth Water Drench Hyaluronic Cloud Serum to anyone with sensitive skin, dry, normal, oily, and combo skin types dealing with redness, irritation, inflammation, dry skin, or an impaired barrier. I would even go as far as saying that I would recommend this to acne-prone skin. Uh, if you have a number of inflamed uh, lesions over the skin, this could potentially help to minimize any redness and inflammation. And because it has a matte finish, I think you can get away with using this during the day as well. Say you don't want to to use a, a salicylic acid based serum. Maybe you can use this as your moisturizer or you can follow this with a salicylic acid based moisturizer. For pros, I do have a number of them. The first is that this is loaded with a number of really good antioxidants, skin replenishing ingredients, and hydrating ingredients. Uh, this is free of any drying alcohols, uh, fragrance, and it's oil-free. This is easy to use. It sinks into the skin very, very easily. You can definitely tell that I've tested this over a number of months. I feel like this works beautifully under a number of products. Um, I began using this towards the butt end of fall and early winter, and now we're kind of like in the middle of of winter so I feel like I really got a good uh, feel for this serum where I threw a number of different serums under or over it as well as moisturizers. I do like the glass packaging. So the glass packaging with the plastic top and is very in line with the water drench range. You can also see it's raised the tiniest bit to kind of mimic the appearance of like water droplets, which is really very uh, interesting, a kind of sensorial experience as well for you. And another thing that I absolutely love about this product is that there are no poor ingredients. My con here is that while Peter Thomas Roth does not test on animals, they do sell products in China and they are not 1,000% sure that their raw material suppliers do not test on animals. So I tend to dock one point for animal testing. I am rating this serum a nine out of 10. I tested this for a number of months during both my morning and PM skincare routines and I found that it worked beautifully uh, no matter what products I applied under or over it. I never had, say for example, a negative reaction to this. And after use, my skin woke up hydrated, smoother, and plumper. Redness, if I had any, and inflammation was relieved. Um, and I thoroughly enjoyed this serum. I would recommend it to anyone experiencing a dry redness and inflammation or anyone with an impaired barrier. Also, if you live in an extremely cold climate, this may potentially help to strengthen and hydrate your skin. That 
that is all I have for today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in and for spending some time with me today. Please be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so that you are notified whenever there is a brand new upload. I will see you in my next video. Bye. Before we begin with today's video, nope.